Hello guys, this is David Burbano and this is Ismael Garcia and we are Tech News and for today we're going to be talking about the segment of repairs. So I know we, we touched on our, we have our own business, right? Our mm. iFix Master business and so many people are very skeptical about, you know, repair shops. Uh, they, they look a little sketchy, yeah. you know, people don't want to go or they don't know if it's the same quality. So this is just going to be a breakdown of you know where people get their aftermarket um, parts where we get our aftermarket parts and what's the quality so I guess we're gonna start off with um, first where are they made so most of them are made in China yeah. which is actually where Apple's parts are made too mm -hmm. so um, and, and the thing is the aftermarket factories what they do is they have a good repair shop where where they produce these and they make them to to large quantities now Apple doesn't sell these to, to repair shops. They do provide them to Apple service providers, which are apparently about 4,800. Like in the whole US? In the whole world. Oh, in the whole world? In the whole world. Only 4,800 Apple service providers. What? So they really don't like selling or like providing their own parts. Yeah. Um, as you guys know, Apple has good quality parts, obviously, because a lot of people buy their phones. But um, the aftermarket, they have to provide different types of quality. So there's what's called aftermarket, then there's aftermarket plus, and then there's premium. Uh, premium is not the exact same thing as the Apple, I guess, mm -hmm. part, but it's the premium quality or it's close enough to where you can't tell a difference. The other ones just are missing components. Mm -hmm. um, so what you'll notice is that some repair shops have a low cost, um, which means if, you know, most have low quality parts. But, I mean, why should someone go and get their, their iPhone screen repaired? Um, do you think, Isma, that it would be a better idea to get it repaired at Apple? Or do you feel like it'd be better at a repair shop? I mean, usually if you don't have warranty on your phone or your, like, your device and you go to Apple, they would charge you like a lot. Yeah. yeah, so, and I've heard, like, shops, like, the way we charge and stuff like that, it's not as expensive as Apple themselves. Exactly. And for us, it's been very difficult, at, at least in the beginning, to find parts that are high quality um, and finding vendors that, that provide these parts. But going back to what Ismail said, if people have Apple Care, um, then it's probably better to just go to Apple. Yeah. And that's coming from a repair shop. <laughs> it's probably better to just go to the Apple and pay your I think it's twenty nine dollars. Yeah, since you've already paid for like the Apple Care, why not just like pay for like the rest of your pair? Exactly, and so that's how Apple does it. Um, and they actually, I, I was reading from Mac Rumors, they bring in about a million to two billion dollars in repairs. Wow. So that's not a small chunk, guys. That's a lot of money. So you can just imagine how much money independent service repair mm -hmm. shops um, could be gaining yeah. from from repairing devices. But now going back to the quality, um, many aftermarket parts, um, like I said, don't come included. But we'll have a link in the description, and you you'll notice the screen. I don't know if you've seen like a yellowing screen mm -hmm. compared to like a like a white screen no, I haven't. you haven't so there are differences in um in parts and you can notice that whenever the repair is done so it really just depends on the consumer if they want a cheaper repair uh to fix you know their iphone then it'll be better um yeah. now what i was reading was also it's harder to find a uh, good quality iphone 10 pieces now you could go to apple if you have apple care uh, but for for most people that have, I don't know how much is the iPhone X, like a thousand dollars. Dollars, yeah. So, you probably would probably go to Apple for that, unless you have a repair shop, <clears throat> iFix Master, <laughs> that provides very high quality parts for the iPhone X. Now, if we're thinking about recycled and reused components, um, I was I was also looking at the article and it was saying that people recycle these these parts like apple parts mm -hmm. and they can just you know take out components and fix them up recycle them instead of just throwing them out yeah what do you think about that well it depends like if it's a screen and the camera doesn't work you can just like find another one that works and you switch it up and then you can just use that screen on another phone or the same phone 
Exactly, guys. So there are um, there are individuals that have that that luxury that they can do that, and so we, we just want to keep y'all in the know. All in all, repair shops they provide uh, convenience to the customer. I would say the advantages are you get a fast repair, but not just that you you get a cheaper cost. Yep, and it's just more convenient. I don't know. Have you ever tried repairing something at Apple? At Apple, no. I no? Haven't. But from what I've heard, many people complain about they either have to ship it or they have to wait a long time for Apple to service their, their repairs. So it just comes down to convenience. Um, most consumers that we've run into uh, prefer convenience over, you know, get, getting the the Apple part, yeah. you know? Yeah, because I feel like it requires more work because you have to go to, like, the Apple store, then you have to talk to them, and then just tell them what's wrong with it, they have to check it, then they have to send it, and then you have to wait without a phone, or, like, you either have to, like, rent a phone or, like, get a new phone. While, meanwhile, you wait for your phone to come back. And with a repair shop, you can take up to, like, two, two and a half hours just to fix your phone, and then you just have it back that same day. Yeah, and we're getting quicker, to be honest. I think our, we're about an hour. Like an hour, hour about and a half. Hour, hour and a half. So so that's definitely something to consider, guys. And so that, that's what it was talking about. Now, we do want to clarify. There are specific parts that, that you don't want to you don't want to get repaired, um, mm-hmm. if, if, if at all possible. So remember how we were, uh, one time we were repairing a phone with, uh, with Touch ID? Mm-hmm. So, what usually, why, why can some people lose the Touch ID functionality? Well, what I've heard from, from news is that the Touch ID home button comes, like, preset or, like, connected with the already, like, the motherboard. Yeah. It comes with it, like, original. If you put, like, a different home button with Touch ID, it won't work. You have to have the original home button with, to, with the same motherboard or, like, logic board. Exactly. You'll still be able to use your your home button. Only thing is, like you said, the Touch ID won't work. So what usually we do in our repairs, we make sure to keep the the home button Mm -hmm. intact. Um, We repair the screen, and we just put the original home button back into the screen, and it works. So with a lot of care, I guess, you could be able to uh, transfer certain parts into the new new repair screen. So that's a little bit more about that. with all that said, I guess there. Are, just to conclude, um, there's a lot of money out there for repairing. Apple makes a ton of money repairing these devices, and our small business is based off convenience, just helping out the customer get a good repair and providing you guys with this knowledge, you know, just so you guys know what the aftermarket uh, qualities are and what repair shops, not just ours, but overall, yeah. what repair shops uh, tend to give their customers and the advantages, but also the disadvantages. So we definitely appreciate you guys. Um, this is David again. And this is Ismail. And we're Tech News.